Hello viewers, welcome to GIS and RS solution. Today is the second tutorial of Google Earth Engine tutorial series. I'm trying to make concise videos so that you don't get bored. Um, this series is for those who are just starting with Google Earth Engine. In this second tutorial, you will learn how to collect Landsat images, including specifying the location, importing the Landsat image, specifying the date range, um, shorting the minimum cloud cover image, and getting the collection data sets. In the third tutorial, you will learn how to visualize the collected image on the map. Anyway, let's get started. First, uh, open Google Earth Engine. and then uh, you have to uh, select your study area i need the landsat image from this location so i have selected the location using this rectangle and after that you will get this uh, variable you can uh, rename this variable as per your own preference so i have uh, renamed this uh, as area and then uh, i will uh, call for landsat 8 image so write landsat 8 and i i, I will uh, add landsat 8 collection to tier 1 real time image you will uh, find detailed information here you can uh, copy uh, this uh, code or you can import directly from here I have imported. Uh, you can also uh, change this uh, variable. I mean uh, variable name. So I keep it the uh, same as image collection. So image collection has uh, been added here. And now I will uh, I will write uh, another variable. So I will name it as image and then first bracket and then uh, i will call uh, ee dot image and then first bracket then i will call image collection variable and then uh, i will uh, filter date i mean i will specify the date range so you have to write filter date javascript is uh, case sensitive so you have to be careful about that so filter date uh, i want to image uh, for from 2020 to 2021 so i will write uh, 1st january 2020 uh, to 2021 12 to 01 i need the image uh, between these years and then filter i will uh, call filter bounds filter bounds and add here a variable i mean total area this variable total collection and then i will shorting the image uh, without uh, cloud cover or minimum cloud cover so for that uh, write this uh, code dot uh, short and go to the collection and if you go to bands and uh, or image uh, if you go to image properties and then you will find here cloud cover and also description here just copy uh, cloud cover this name and then uh, right here cloud cover Uh, 
how you can understand that your code is uh, right so if it uh, turns uh, the color then you can uh, you have to understand that your code is right anyway uh, then i will uh, take the first image so uh, i'm writing dot first and to complete uh, the code uh, you have to uh, you have to uh, give a semicolon to the bracket and then uh, i will print this variable so write print and i will get this image in this name and then a variable that i have uh, selected that i have uh, short shorted i m a g e and then uh, semicolon and then run click run and then you can see uh, we have found an error i think uh, yeah as i said uh, javascript is case sensitive so you have to uh, be careful about that yeah now uh, it has run successfully you can see here uh, we have oh we 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 got the image image id and bands you can see here uh, how many bands are there and properties cloud cover zero uh, you can see here cloud cover land zero and data um, wgs84 and you will uh, find uh, um, several information here i hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial how you can collect landsat image from a certain period of time i have shared the code in the description section anyway uh, in the next video you will learn how to visualize this collected image to the map i hope you will find that also easy and simple mm, thank you